The question is, if you are asked to express one quantity as a percentage of the other, in simple terms, we make use of the relation as over of times hundred percent or is over of times hundred percent. So these two relations are very important in this aspect of percentages, expressing one quantity as a percentage of the other. Now, let's see. I've already mentioned to you that the two quantities have to be of the same unit. Therefore, if the two quantities have no unit, it means we are free. But if the quantities are of different units, we have to ensure that we express both to have the same quantity. Now, let's take our very first example. Express 20 as a percentage of 120. Can you identify which of the figures represents us and which of them represents of? So, as you can see, express 20 as a percentage of 120 means that 20 is equivalent to us and 120 also belongs to off, isn't it? So, expressing 20 as a percentage, so us is equivalent to 20, whilst off is also equivalent to 120. So 20 as a percentage of 120 students simply becomes 20 out of 120 times 100 percent. So what is it? What do we do? So just by cancellation, proper cancellation, when this is simplified, we end up getting an answer which is 31.25%.